so Chris, a little bit, I know you've done a, a fair amount of volunteering with a, a group called Imerman's Angels. Mm-hmm. And from what you've told me, it's a, a group that matches new cancer patients with cancer survivors. Um, and these people have either just found out they're having ostomy surgery or they've just had ostomy surgery. So I just maybe if you could share with how do you talk to people about having an ostomy and when do you share that information with them? Well, in the, in the context of the Immerman's Angels organization, um, it's, uh, it's, it's more about them being able to ask you questions. And so part of the, the idea is that someone may be, uh, you know, if you, if you have gone through cancer or you're a caregiver who's supported someone going through cancer, you can register with this organization. They uh, have you fill out a pretty detailed questionnaire. They put you into a database. And then when someone who is newly diagnosed or someone who's going to support someone who's newly diagnosed calls in, they try and match you up with someone who has similar experiences. And so in that context, your job really is to, you know, listen mainly and, and try and do the, resist doing the thing that, that I think a lot of people do and you guys have probably experienced before is sometimes you get in a conversation with someone and you're, you're interested in, you know, kind of talking to them about your fears and your questions. And sometimes it's, it's hard for that person not to share a lot of their experience with you. And the Immermans is, is, is very much about just listening to what that person wants to ask you and then trying to to share that. So that in that context, it's pretty easy because they're asking you things that are most important to them. They're talking about the things that they fear the most. And, uh, and so you let them guide the conversation. I will say in general, and, and you know, hearing, uh, you know, Ryan and Lois, I, you know, I, I am not very uh, out there in terms of sharing my story or, or talking with people. And, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, it particularly it's inspiring to hear the work that you've done. I've done some of it, but I tend to be maybe a little more, a little less out there, a little less likely to kind of share my story. Happy to do so when people ask, but uh, but not as uh, um, you know not, not as aggressive in uh, in doing that. So uh, so I, that's I maybe need to step up my game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think everyone's on, on their journey, and you all are making an impact in your own unique and individual ways, and doing it the way that you're most comfortable with. So so thank you for sharing sure. that that with us as well. <laughs>